Okay, let's look at topic 6.2. This is slide 3, our last example, example 4. Determine exact trig values for angles such as the sine of pi over 12. Well, pi over 12 we can't work with, but we know of something that we can. And that would be we're using the difference identity and saying pi over 12 is the same as 3 pi over 12 minus 2 pi over 12. How is that the same? Well, 3 pi over 12 is going to reduce to pi over 4, and 2 pi over 12 is going to reduce to pi over 6. Now those we're used to working with. Therefore, sine of pi over 12 we can say is the same as sine of pi over 4 minus the pi over 6. And we can use our trig identities to say that's the sine of pi over 4 times the cosine of pi over 6 minus the cosine of pi over 4 times the sine of pi over 6. Now, just substitute. Root 2 over 2 times root 3 over 2 minus root 2 over 2 times 1 half. Clean that up and you're going to get root 6 over 4 minus root 2 over 4 or root 6 minus root 2 over 4. That's it. All there is to it. Now, you could verify this by putting both the sine of pi over 12 in your calculator and root 6 minus root 2 over 4 into your calculator and comparing the decimal form of both of those answers. Part B. This time let's look at the tangent of 105. And we're going to do this two different ways. The first way we're going to deal with tangent as it is in 105 degrees. So let's convert, convert that to something we know. Well the tangent of 135 minus 30 is the same as 105. And if you recall, the tangent of A minus B is the tangent of A minus the tangent of B over 1 plus tan A times the tangent of B. Therefore, if you substitute, the tangent of 135 minus 30 is going to be the tangent of 135 minus the tangent of 30 over 1 plus the tangent of 135 times the tangent of 30. And again, next step, substitute our values. You're going to get negative 1 minus 1 over root 3 over 1 plus negative 1 times 1 over root 3. That's going to clean into negative 1 minus 1 over root 3. That doesn't change. And simply the 1 minus 1 over root 3 on the bottom. Keep going. And this time, we're going to clean this up by timesing both the top and the bottom by negative root 3. And that's going to change the form into our final answer of root 3 plus 1 over 1 minus root 3. As I said, we're going to do this two different ways. The second way is we're going to leave the tangent of 105. And we're going to say that that's the same as sine of 105 over the cosine of 105. Now, 105 is 60 plus 45, so we're going to work with that instead. The sine of 60 plus 45 over the cosine of 60 plus 45 will give us, on the numerator, the sine of 60 cos 45 plus cos 60 sine 45 over the cos 60 cos 45 minus the sine 60 sine 45, using our basic trig identities again. Next, we substitute. Plug in our values of what we know. This looks a little bit messy, but it's not bad. Root 3 over 2 times root 2 over 2, plus 1 half times root 2 over 2, over 1 half times root 2 over 2, minus root 3 over 2 times root 2 over 2. And just clean up what you can clean up. The top's going to become root 6 over 4, plus root 2 over 4, the bottom is going to be root 2 over 4 minus root 6 over 4. Now, write those with common denominators. 
and multiply the, by the reciprocal and the whole thing is going to clean up into root 6 plus root 2 over root 2 minus root 6. Now, again, that doesn't look like the first answer, but if you look the first answer and you multiplied both the top and the bottom by root 2, you're going to see that it would look exactly the same. That's the end of 6.2.